The Bob and Brad Crew. The Bob and Brad Crew. Welcome, folks. We are the Bob and Brad Crew. I'm Alex. I'm Mike. Together, we are offering videos related to your health, fitness, and overall well-being. And our unbiased opinion today. All right, take it away, Mike. This is your jam. Do you feel like it's windy in here? Kinda. Huh. My legs. This video is called the ultimate exercise bike, the Schwinn Aerodyne. You can join the Dine Club. That's what we call ourselves, diners. Oh, okay. Diners. <laughs> Do you want right. to be cool? I like to sit at the diner. Ha! Huh. So this bike. They unfortunately do not make this model anymore. It's been discontinued, but we're going to talk about the models that uh, Schwinn still makes of Aerodyne because they're very similar to this. It's just the newer versions of what this is. Sure. You just couldn't afford the newer version. I couldn't afford the newer version. Rub it in. All right. Sorry. Um, so we have three different prices because they have three different models. If you get the basic model, it's around $400, the 82 uh, the 86 model, mine is pretty similar to the 86 model, so we're going to compare it to that one when I talk about all the specs about it. And that one's 600 bucks. That's 600 bucks new. Uh, the 87, which is like the super deluxe model, is around $900, and I think they even have a pro beyond that, which I have no idea how much that is. So that's the Cadillac pretty model. Pretty much, if you look at the different models, there's more features and adjustments per every model, and it's typically more solid um, material they're using to build them. You know, I don't think those prices are that bad. If you look at like a new step bike, you know, it's kind of the same concept. That's a few grand, yeah. Yeah, those are Those are a couple many grand, thousand. Yeah. So, I mean, these are, you can do what I did, and you just find it on Marketplace on Facebook of stuff for sale. By you used. sly devil, you. I got mine for $250 because He's it's a little older model. But, nice. yeah, you can always look. You don't have to. We'll put the links below to purchase any of these or look at them. Um, you could certainly don't have to buy them new. Look for them used somewhere. So gyms sometimes get newer stuff, get rid of old models. Or if your gym has one and you never tried it, you can sure. just try it there. Um, so we're going to talk about the AD6 model since it's similar to mine. Mine is actually called... The Evolution Comp is what my model is called, if you want to look it up. Um, but the 86 model, they claim it runs quietly with a single belt drive. Fan bikes like this are going to be noisy because it's a fan. Yeah. My initial impression was, boy, that fan is kind of loud. But, but it's the fan doing yeah. it. Yeah. Um, the nice thing about these is there's not a resistance knob to these bikes if you've never been on them. The resistance is from the fan. So as you pedal faster, it gets harder. Ah. So you basically have infinite amount of resistance. Nice. So the f harder you go, the harder it is to move. Sure. The easier you go, the easier it is. So that's what it's based off so of. So the bike adjusts you, basically. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, the new model we're talking about does have foot straps on the pedals. Mm -hmm. uh, my model does not have that. That was not a feature. Honestly, I don't find them necessary. But it does have that if you want to strap your foot in. Um, the fan keeps you cool if you're hot when you're working out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that model weighs 116 pounds. So these are awkward to move. It um, was. I was out of breath bringing this down the side hill. They're hard to get in and out of vehicles. Uh, when you have it delivered, you do have to do some assembly, but we'll get into more of that. Um, sure. There is a nice feature. I can show them quick if you want to move your booty. Do you want to go make sure? That so there's actually wheels on the front of this. So if you do want to wheel it around on a flat surface, it can wheel pretty easily, so. So once you get it into a flat surface, but getting it there is. The yeah, we had it go down a little bit of an embankment. There is a little bit. Are we onto the story. ratings yet? We're onto the ratings. What Four, did they get? Four point two out of five as like a whole series. Yeah, all three bikes that Schwinn makes. And they had twelve hundred forty-eight reviews, so yeah. quite popular. Um, so we'll go to the negatives first, like we do always. Um, obviously, a big negative for something of this caliber is the price. Mm -hmm. Four to nine hundred dollars, depending on the model. Like I said before, look used. Try them out at the gym yeah. instead if you'd rather. But what's that one doctor visit right there? Four hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it's worth. If you're looking for, a, I'm not gonna lie, this is a good piece of equipment to buy if you're gonna buy one piece of equipment mm -hmm. for home. But anyway, back to the negatives. Uh, there's several comments about a metallic clanking and banging coming from the pedals on the newer models. Um, it must be some type of defect with some of them that they make. It's not on all the reviews. I've never had this problem with mine. I push it pretty hard, so I don't know if it's just the newer bikes have this flaw sure. or if they've got a faulty model. Um, some people said the display stopped working on them, um, which can also be some weird default. Uh, some people complained about the belt rubbing and actually started fraying, so it was kind of like a bad model. If Mike's um, house ever starts on fire, we know. Came or from a poor design. 
And also someone said, on um, some of them have heart monitor features, some of them do not. You'll have to look in the description of each product because they all have different things. Does but. the seat adjust tilt forward and back or just up and down? So this one goes, also the models of each bike do more things. The sure. 82 is really basic. The 86 has some adjustable like mine. The 87 like has a little another lever you can pull and slide it forward and back. This one, I believe, you can change a tilt, but you have to loosen the bolt back uh, here to change I thought I was tilted a little forward for my liking. Because you can change the angle if mm -hmm. you want it pitched up. It's just like a normal bicycle. Sure. That's the way you do it. It just doesn't have an automatic release. You have to use a wrench. Sure. So Nowadays, people don't really know how to use those, so that might be a big problem, <laughs> including myself sometimes. Uh, some positives. It's quiet to a point. The fan is going to be noisy. Uh, it's not that quiet. Um, another positive, like I said before, the resistance changes with your speed. Yeah. I think these are really great for HIT workouts, high intensity interval training. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I use them for. It's basically if you don't want to go sprint, yeah. you can use these for sprinting. So you go two minutes, nice slow pace, go 20 seconds as fast as you can. And you do that for like 20 minutes. You do like eight cycles of fast. It, it sucks. That's and what I do. And it's just, it's nice because. Even on a treadmill, you have to sit there and press up to go yeah. faster, or incline. This, you just go. You, there's no adjustment. And you're not really going to fail because the bike is still moving. You're just going to slow down and you're going to get yeah, less Yeah, you're going to start fatiguing so. and get less resistance. So that's the nicest part about these. Yeah. Um, that's what a lot of people use them for. I don't really do just standard. You can do just normal slow pace on this if you'd like. Um, I bought it just to basically do hit cardio on. When are you going to talk about the beer holder? Uh, it does have a, a beer holder for Alex. Sure. It typically holds water for me. This I could is do a little small, seat. but also look on the different models. They all have different type of seats. I believe the AD2 is a typical bike seat. This hmm. has a this has a big butt model like yeah, the the 86. Um, I think the 87 also has a different style. It's once you get used to it, I actually like it. Once you're accustomed to it, you just adjust the height. You know what works well for you. Maybe you just have a big butt. Maybe I just have a it. big butt. Just kidding. Doing Michael. no squats. Yeah. Uh, it is pretty easy to assemble. I bought my new, so it's already assembled. Um, one lady said it was pretty easy. You can also order a Amazon technician to set it up for you, and the, you can call them if you have a problem. So that is a feature you can look into huh. if you're interested. Uh, another positive is. The only part that's electronic is a display, so it's just batteries. You don't have to plug it in, so you can have it wherever you want. You did your research, didn't you? I did do my research. Wow, he's passionate about the Schwinn. I love this thing. If he doesn't show up tomorrow, Schwinn gave him this mega deal. He's going to be marketing for Schwinn. I could see it already. Um, another thing, too, they do come with warranties when you buy them new. The frame typically has 10 years. The mechanical parts have two years. The electrical has one year, and the labor of fixing it is six months. This is for the 86 model. You're going to have to read every bike and what they offer. So, But I'll put the links below for this. Nicely you, done. Nicely done. I don't know if we have to. Also with these, I'll just show you a couple little things. Yeah, we should demonstrate it, right? Um, I'm going to get on the other side. The nice thing about these is you can pedal it just like this. You can use purely legs. So typically when I'm just going light, I just use purely legs. Um, if you want to use purely arms, there's these little foot holders here, and you can just use your arms. Ah, nice. But as you can see, I'm going slow, and then as I go, you can probably hear the wind, and then you can go. So it, it gets loud. Mike, how are you doing? Am I blowing you away? <laughs> Jeez. So you just turn it on, set whatever you want. It has a nice timer here. So typically, yeah, I just go 90 seconds, a lolly gag like this, and then for 20 to 30 seconds, if you're going all out, 20 seconds is plenty. It's rough. <laughs> but it's all a lolly gag, and then I'll go, you know, as fast as you can for 20 seconds. I think even great for all ages. I mean, elderly people have to have a little bit of balance, but I think they, a lot of them. Yeah, as long as you're able to get on a bike like this, it's fine. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't, it's pretty sturdy. I yeah. mean, I can wiggle it, but it's not easy It's to made move. well. That thing is heavy. Yeah, they're sturdy. Um, lots of companies make Airdynes. You can look at other companies. I just happened to buy the Schwinn one, so. You just blew your Schwinn marketing scheme there. Schwinn, I'm only working for you. <laughs> there you go. All right, and check us out on YouTube. Please subscribe to us. Uh, TikTok and Instagram. All the links are down below in the description of those. Um, comment, subscribe. Send us your products. If you're a company or inventor out there, send them. I don't know if Mike's out of breath from the review or the Schwinn <sighs> bike. That boy did a lot of work. I took the day off there. Thanks for Thank watching. Thank you. The Bob and Brad crew. The Bob and Brad crew. The Bob and Brad crew.